Hey guys, this is Young Tech Boy Wanted. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use S Memo. Because S Memo is a pretty complicated thing, and if you run out of text, it gets annoying, and drawings get kind of hard. So I'm here to try and help you help make it better. So for basics, painting. Uh, when you first click on it, like if you go from text to painting, it'll just be a brush, you know, it doesn't require anything special. Let me change this since I have, I'm painting right now. Oh no, I should keep it on. Sorry. So once you click on when you click on it again, it will it will bring up the pen settings. So you could choose from a fine tip marker to a big tip marker, and you could just change the size of everything. You got you have paint brushes, pencil. I like the pencil and highlighters. With the highlighter, it's very unique, and I'm like very impressed on how they did it. Did I say that? Yep. Just use this. And here we go. With the highlighter, like I said, I'm very impressed about it because you can actually change it. So like when you when you first touch it, it is like I guess dark. Like in real life, when you actually use a highlighter, it looks dark. And then when you like start drawing, it gets like a little bit dimmer, dimmer. And like if you were to go over each other. If you were to keep on going over it, it'll turn darker. Things like that. Little simple touches that like make Samsung Galaxy 3 over the top. And the pencil. Sh the pencil is one of the, is an also another good one that I like. Because like it makes the graphite, I guess, look the the lead look more real. So wrong one, my bad. Oh well. Just add another side. So the pencil is good for I guess like if you're gonna draw hair or something. And the and the screen up on the Galaxy S3 allows for multiple touches at the same time, and you can zoom in, things like that, get in that extra detail. You know. And then there is the paintbrush. The paint the paintbrush is pretty much just like a a steady color. It's not really there's not any real graphics up on it. Well, not graphics, but yeah, any special things on it. And then you have the pen. The pen is pretty much just like the paintbrush. I don't know what the difference is. Let me use yellow so I could try and see what the difference is. There is little difference, if any. I don't think there really is. It's just. I don't know, maybe the, let me see, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm clueless right now, but once you uh, choose your paint with the, yeah, I guess, paint or marker or pencil, pen, whatever you want to use, then you have the option of making it bigger or smaller, dang it, I click save again, I gotta watch that finger, cancel, <sighs> wow. So like I said, you, you're able to choose from bigger or smaller. And with the highlighter, you're able to choose how dark you want it. If you want it to be dark all, all the way through. Or if you want it to be a little light at the beginning, transparent, things like that. So now you see, that's good for like shading and stuff. You know, background, shadows, things like that. And, uh, yeah. And then down here, you just have all the colors. These are all preset colors. And the one at the one at the bottom right hand corner allows you to customize it. When you just touch this button right here, well not the button, but when you when you touch right there, and you're able to customize it between a whole bunch. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So I have like a lime green. Ooh, I'm using highlighter. And the colors up on here are very vibrant, so you'll get all, so it, it'll be, it'll look pretty much just like HD if it isn't already, which it probably is. So I'm using a lime green. You guys can't really see how bright it is. I don't think so. At least from my view, I can't, I can't see how bright it is off my camera. But it's, it looks very, very bright, very bright and colorful and everything. Yeah, it probably just looks like a bland, 
yeah, I guess a bland lime green or something. But all right, this is how. T and then I uh, almost forgot about texts. What well, text there is a certain amount of number. I believe it is about maybe two, three hundred, two fifty or something. Two hundred fifty uh, letters you could put up on a single memo pad. So after you get done with that, so like uh, like if if you were to get down to the end, it'll say like no more room for you to write. You see, maximum canvas size exceeded. That's what it says. And then you just have to open up a new one or I don't know, do something else. So and then eraser. Eraser is pretty much to undo what you have undid, what you have did without using an undo button. So if you just want to be real precise with it, you know, just, oops, just do a little Picasso right there. You see a little happy smile face. And eraser, like all other ones, except for text, mm, excuse me, if you double click it, it will give you the size and everything, and you could choose to clear everything off that one sheet. So, uh, and then, also, a whole lot this is something that I don't think really anybody ever noticed. With this one, you can actually, like, uh, I'm going to use a pen. Black. So, I'm going to just write something real quick. Yeah, alright. And, G. And then, I'm going to put it, yep, just like that. And then click menu, and then you could actually change it from, like if you were to write up on there, you could actually change it to, uh, err. Uh, err. Uh, you could change, err. Uh, oh my goodness. You could change it. Not change it, but you could like, uh, I guess it's, I don't know what they call it. Take a, I don't know what they doing. I, I honestly don't. But it's kind of hard to explain, but you could make it into handwriting, so. I wrote it out up on there, and then if I was to put it up in here, yeah, it does look like a J, though. A cursive J, so I, I'm going to just give them some slack. So I could just do it just like that, and it will be handwriting the text. And you could click English, English, and, it, and then it, you could select it, I guess, jug, jug. And you could just write it out, and it will put it up in text. Oops. Save. So now it has what you just said or what you just read down. I guess it's good for like the note if you if you want to take notes or something and you're using it up in class or something. I'm not really sure how that's going to really come in, in like how that's going to become handy or whatever. And also another feature that most people did not know about is when you go up over the pictures and then click on clip art, it'll actually let you use clip art. Pretty much, or I mean, yeah, clip art. And it just has simple things, arrows, uh, message bubbles, I guess, or bur bubbles. Simple shapes, circle, square, triangle, sticky notes, uh, music, just, just fun little things. And you can resize them. Uh, but that's it, though. Once you, like, click away from it, you cannot change it, so you got to be careful. Uh, pictures, you can add live pictures, so, not live, why did I say live pictures, I felt so stupid, you can add pictures, so you can add pictures from your gallery, or you could take a picture, so I'm going to just take one real quick, you see I just took one, and that is what I'm using to do my camera, so you could just save it, and then, put it upward. And you can re oop, like I said, once you click off of it, it's, it's over. But you can resize it and everything. And I believe you can delete it. Nope. But you can still write on it, things like that. And then, uh, let me see. You can also add stuff from your clipboard. Things like this. Like, I have some passwords up on, over here that I, I can't always remember. So I just keep it right there. And then when you slide it down, whoo, it's a keyboard. Woo. And then map. Map is a good thing to use if you want to beam. Not beam. Why did I say beam? If you want to, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I 
touch your, use your NFC thing and just touch your phone together, you know, and share it and everything. You know what I mean? Touching your Samsung together. This is uh, good for, I guess, like sending, giving people directions or sending it to them all in itself. So I could take a, I could do a map of where, like, a, uh, of where I want to go. So, like, uh, Sears Tower, S E A R S T O W E R. Sears Tower. It's up in Chicago. Dang, it ain't up in no water now. Oh no, Indiana. Here it is. And it shows the Sears Tower. And now I could capture what it looks like. So I could say, I don't know. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at the Willis Tower or Sears Tower. I take a picture of it and send it to somebody. Or say this is where it's at and beam it to them. I don't know. But most people didn't know they had it up on there. It might come in useful for you guys. It might come in handy use, I guess, for you. But I just can't see it for me. So that's pretty much it. Oh, you could tag people. Like uh, put in certain names. T-A. T-A. CJ. Woo! CJ. D-D-M-J. Woo! D-D-M-J. And you can just like add tags, stupid tags, and that's pretty much all. And like the tags go below. So like if you want to add something, I don't know, pick up milk, uh, cereal, and I like that about it. You can actually type, say it. So like pick up milk and cereal. Ooh. And you see, with with all the other phones, it would not work that good. You would not, it would not pick up, uh, pick up milk and cereal. So you just add that and save, and it's down at the bottom now. As you can, see, if you want to see, let me just bring it up closer. It's down at the bottom. So that's pretty much all the tricks that I have for today. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Voice recording. Voice recording is very useful. Uh, take them down notes, or if you're interviewing someone, you know, big business type, you want to interview them, or just record a conversation. And with this phone, you can also record conversations while while uh, on the phone, which is good. Just use your voice recorder. So, that's pretty much all, yep. And when you stop it, you could delete it or replace it, but you can only have one. Take them down notes, or if you're interviewing someone, you know, big business type, you want to interview them, or just record a conversation. So as you can see, it is up on there. Well, I mean, it's saved up on there. And I'm going to just keep it just like this. And then the title. Ooh, that click save? Well, it's going to be a while because I have all these photos up on here and everything. It's going to be a while. Oh, well, it won't let me change it. But, and then once you go to the home screen, not the home screen, but the S mean, the S memo, I guess, home screen, you can choose from uh, drawings or text. And you can search it, see what's up on there, view by list. Oops. Oh, you guys couldn't see my bad. And like I said, view by thumbnail. Nothing really. Uh, exporting. Sync. You can lock. You can lock things. So if I, I if I wanted to lock this, I could just uh lock it and just put a password up on. Ooh, like it'll ask you when you first when you first lock your things. It'll ask you to choose a password. And you gotta remember that. So I'm gonna just cover it up over mine because I actually have a password on here that I use. So ah oh, wow wow wow, and hold on. And then two no er two one. Don't look at my stuff. Oh my good, hold on. Let me do this again. And it could, your pen could be as many digits as you want, but point is once you do it, it'll save it. And uh, first time you do it, like I said, the first time, the very first time you do it. And it'll save everything. So now I have the map and then the photo of my camera. Looking down at my phone. 
So that's pretty much all, and no it isn't. I have some other things to show you guys. Like, uh, unlock, just unlocking things. Uh, creating a folder, just pretty much a folder. You guys probably knew about that. Something interesting that you guys did not know about. Let me see. Uh, exporting, you could export it as a JPEG or a PDF, so... I guess, yeah, if you wanted to export it as a photo, or I don't know. Uh, share via. Sharing it uh, using... Uh, let me just enter my password. A pen. Sharing it... Uh, when you share it, it pretty much is like... Uh, no, I forget that one. You can share it like as a JPEG. And then you can share it like... Through Wi-Fi, like sharing it through each other from Wi-Fi, wi put it up to Google Plus, Gmail, Facebook. Er, I hate this screen rotational thing. Take this off real quick. Um, email it to somebody. Gmail, Facebook, Drive. This is uh, Drive is probably like a, a very useful app if you're a, if you're a business type person. It's a very useful app to have up on your phone. So you could just export it pretty much all through it. And then here are just some of the other ones that came up on your phone. So yes, that is all. And if I, if I forgot to explain something in this video, just click on menu and scroll down and click on tutorial. They should explain everything and even better on how to use it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this 16, probably 17 minute video. I know it's long on just one subject and topic but i appreciate it i appreciate you guys for watching and uh please like please subscribe and if you have any questions or comments for me please uh put it on the uh shoot, comment it below and uh if it's a question i'll try to get back to it and if it's a comment i'll if if you ask me something or just a regular comment i'll try i'll try and respond reply yeah respond in the Good amount of time, maybe a day or two, maybe even a week. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, thank, like I said again, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. All right, have a nice day.